his title back. We're going to talk. I'm going to show you some brief highlights. Why wasn't Rob Brand holding? What was he thinking? He came out and he took his that belt back. Is what he was always supposed he to took be. his belt back. Royota Murata with an extremely impressive dismissal of Rob Brand. Yo, he's back in business. Rounds, and Brand took an extraordinary amount of punishment. <laughs> Seems like the first time around he um, T Street Controversy, this is T Street Controversy Live. Many referees would have stopped that fight early, only the second round. Well, you knew something was different about Murata the first round. Even though, you know, he still needs a jab. He's a pressure fighting power puncher, but man, like he's a pressure fighting power puncher. Look at that. This is his wife and everything. That's a that right there was a spectacular performance. With the way he lost the first fight, it was very hard to go against him. I mean, to, uh, to, to root for him in a rematch. Especially when you got a Rob Brand throwing 1,200 plus punches. 1,200 as a 160 pounder in the last fight back in October. And then his last fight, I forgot, what was his uh, first title defense? Kassan, um, you have to go see my uh, review on that. Just type it in. I want it. But Baysan Goroff, I covered that fight. Wow. Pavone stops the contest. He is the winner by technical knockout, and he is once again Brief highlights. the WBA middleweight champion of the world. I'm happy for him. Oh, this scumbag. Oh, my God. I do not like that man. Roberto Mendoza, the president of the WBA. And the fans here are loving He's low down scum to me. The Olympic gold medalist who is a crossover mainstream commercial star in Japan. Making celebrity appearances and endorsements. The accomplished amateur pedigree, the gold medal. This was a good card though. Into his pro career, had a Three fights on ESPN Plus. Avenged that, won a title, and then everybody Bob Arum is there. I thought he would be in. Damn. Well, he did here, and he did gonna he? fly. Shout so out to Bob. Impressive. Royota Murata, all smiles as you see. Promoter Bob Arum flanking him here. I, th I, I didn't think, I thought he was going to be over. WBA middleweight champion he, he will fly over we there like come back and wrap things up. Big night for Murata in Osaka. Okay, so this is live. That was real time. On T Street Controversy, this is T Street Controversy Live. We cover every single major fight live. Championship fights is we're focusing on. Okay, all right. I've been slacking on some fights lately, especially with streaming apps like ESPN Plus, which has been a godsend with um, The Zone, uh, Showtime, you know, uh, Fight.TV, by the way. I missed the Northern O'Bali fight and I missed a couple of other fights, major fights. So my goal is to cover every single championship fight and eliminators and prospects. So I'm switching my business, you know, my, my video structure up, if that makes sense. So, we're also going to be providing you press conferences, media workouts. Um, I got a live show coming. We got a podcast coming. Shit is moving around here. So, it's really not too much I can do. As you can see, I put the clock up there for you. It's early. I've been covering this card since 7 a.m. since Ken Shiro uh, beat up Jonathan uh, Takanang. And then a guy by the name of No... Damn, I forgot their names. We're going to talk about the car, but waiting for the commercial break to end so they can come back with the... I hope they give Murata a post-fight interview with a translator. Because I want to know what's next. So, damn, Rob Brand, why didn't he hold? He got the shit beat out of him in a very short period of time. Two rounds. Did, they, did, did Box Rec, you updated yet, bro? Oh, they got him. 25-2 and two now. Second round stoppage. You know, he could have took a knee. He could have he could have held and many other referees would have stopped that fight. But now we have to rank Murata. And where does he fit in in the 160 pound division? Now, he brings in a lot of money, by the way. That fight over there in, in, in Japan, a lot of money. He brings in a lot of money and a lot of overseas or here in the States. We say overseas, everybody's overseas, you know, overseas, you know, he brings in a lot of money. From the Asian crowd. Just like I remember Shu, uh, uh, Zhu Shiming. So you have Canelo. Who's the king of them all. The 160 pound. 
WBC franchise champ. You might as well make him franchise at 160. Canelo is about to likely very well drop his IBF title because he just was ordered to fight Sergey Derevyanchenko. But this is not a Canelo video. Jamal Charlo is the WBC champion. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. But now you have Murata right here, who's that WBA world champion. Now, the WBA wouldn't dare cross Canelo. Because, see, when you're a champion, you pay money to be a champion. So, therefore, the WBA is racking up money at 160 uh, pounds because Rob Brandt brings in a lot of money. So, they want him as their champion. Well, not Rob Brandt, uh, uh, um, uh, Roy uh, Royota Murata. So, they want him there. And Canelo, they won't even bother with that shit. Unless the foot is really, really on their neck, which is not. They're not going to order Murata versus um, um, Canelo versus Murata. And they are they celebrating the return to glory of Royota. He beat the shit out of him. Murata. And what a show. Don't get me, Guillermo. My bad. All right, Guillermo, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. But anyway, hold those up. Combinations to the head you, and know, body. you know what? The difference in this fight is that Murata. Damn, they made me miss my fucking train of thought. Shit. Oh, 160 pounds is top heavy. And I wonder if they will do see a lot to get a lot. And you know, he was accurate a third with the Referee gave Rob Brand every opportunity to respond from the offense. Referee did. Murata and to try to, try to I think to show us the offense that we've been clamoring about over the past eight or nine months. He wasn't able to do it. Marada jumped on him and never gave Rob Brand an opportunity to even get in the fight. Great performance from Ryota Marada. A great performance with superlatives. Come on, give us a post fight interview. Come on, baby, come on. That were tallied. Give it to the us. The second round Look, it wasn't any numbers. includes a near record-setting performance. I want to draw your attention down to the power punches. 54% landed, 173 thrown. In not two full rounds of fights, 93 power Literally. punches landed, but... 64 of the power punches landed came in that devastating second round alone among middleweights in the history of CompuBox. That is number two all time in power punches landed in a single round. One away from the all time record for power punches landed in a single round for middleweights. Normally, when we have a rematch among champions, and they have split the first two fights, you would say, well, automatically there should be a third. Mm. I don't agree Not after this. that performance. Your thoughts, Tim? You know, not after that performance. I mean, Murata, Murata he looks strong. He was, he was accurate with his punches. I got to stop them right there. I'm sorry. I, you know, you got to give Rob Rangit, you got to give him his rematch. You know, even though, even if it was a stoppage like that, you know, it, it was it was short. What adjustments can't damn he did get fucked up though. I'm sorry. He did get fucked up. He did get he get he did get pretty he did get thrashed. He did get thrashed. I covered Rob Brandt when he was in the World Box Super Series first um first year. He he did get thrashed. Damn. Damn. Yeah, that was a that was a that was a that that was a thrashing. That was a thrashing. So let's talk about it. Um, who could be next? I wouldn't be surprised if they do the winner of Jeff Horn versus uh, Michael Zephyra because they're under the same banner. Don't be surprised if that Jeff Horn, Michael Zephyra, which just happened, I believe, August the 31st on, um, on um, ESPN Plus will likely pick it up. Damn, no post fight interview, man. They giving him fucking Ninja Scrolls and shit. Damn, no post fight interview. I hate when they do that. I hate it. I hate it. Um, okay, let me break down who's possibly fighting who next. Canelo is in deep negotiation still, as it stands right now, um, July the 12th, 8.46 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. He's still in deep negotiations with Kovalev at 1.75 and Golovkin and Munguia is in the mix. So that's what's going on with, 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 with them three. Danny Jacobs is fighting the 168 pounds this next fight. That's been pretty much confirmed. Against who? We don't know. Sergey Derevyanchenko is waiting on what the IBF is going to do. But I don't. He, because of political shit, he's not going to fight Murata. Soluski 
is, is Soluski under the zone banner or under the match room banner or is he like one of them um does he float around he can get Murata. I mean, you know, what do you think about a third fight, though? It, it was dominating, but at the same time, Brent dominated him in the first fight in just a different way, different fashion. <coughs> Damn, I got no water down here. <clears throat> Ever since I had this fucking hole in my throat, man, it's some scar tissue, so that's why you always see me. I can't go nowhere or talk for a long period of time without no water. Uh, jump cut. I'll be right back. <clears throat> All right, I'm back. I forgot where I left off, though. I mean, don't be surprised if Murata's next fight likely will be here in the States. And it'll probably be a showcase-ish fight. So since this fight was ESPN+, Plus, his next fight, the way I've been noticing Top Rank with working with ESPN, his next fight will probably likely be prime time here on regular ESPN. But against who, though... With, with with the way our matchmaking has been working with a fight like this, especially two back to back fights for Murata, you know, you know, one where um um he was supposed to win, he didn't, he got you know, taken to school, twelve hundred punches thrown, you know, he got you know he got you know outboxed. In this fight, he completely dominated. So I expect for his next fight to be, you know, I mean, if if it's not the Jeff Horn uh Zephyr winner. I wouldn't be surprised if it's if if it's one of these names like Alfonso El Blanco or David, you know, for a reg for an ESPN fight. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, T Street controversies. I'm, I'm impressed, but will he get any of those top names up there? I would say I I, I seen him moving to wait. Let me go see what's the lowest he's been. He can fight at one sixty. I would see him at one sixty eight before he'll get a Canelo. Oh, that money though. Murata Canelo got big money, but I don't I don't see it happening. Canelo Murata, excuse me, I'm sorry. Canelo, I don't, but I don't I don't I don't see it happening, you know? I'm looking at these names and something is telling me he's gonna fight one of the, like one of the like some some much something like this. Especially after what was supposed to be a tough fight, high pressure fight. Yeah. I'm Teacher Controversy. This is Teacher Controversy Live with FightView360.com. Podcast is coming soon. We got a weekly show coming out on Mondays. Yeah, shit is uh it's, it's picking up. It's picking up. I got a lot of free time on my hands for the next until November. A lot of free time. So, you know, back to business. We're working on to make sure we cover all championship fights. All the way from fucking minimum weight, 105, or what's lower than that, 105, all the way up. Please subscribe.